you've heard people say, you know, I know this man and I trust him with my life. And I got thinking about Abraham. Abraham believed God. God looked down and counted it to him as righteousness. And I thought, why is it that we can't just trust God that when he sent Christ, Christ has it covered. What he did at the cross is enough. We couldn't even come close to touching what Christ did for us. He lived a perfect life and then he paid for all of our sins. He takes our sin and he imputes his righteousness. If I can stand before God with Jesus Christ's track record, right. I'd be in good shape. And that's exactly what the righteousness that's imputed to us when we just trust God that he wants to give us this gift. We trust a lot of people, we don't trust God. Well, and there's, there's this internal thing in all humanity, this good and do's and don'ts scale. I do the bad stuff, I do some good stuff to compensate, and we're forever trying to equalize our sin as we perceive it or as we oversimplify it. And as we said earlier, we're all on a freight train headed to hell. All humanity is destined to hell, apart from trust, faith, belief in Christ. And, and to relinquish, I can't be good enough to get to God, but God was good enough to send His Son to me to die in my place on my behalf instead of me, and that I'm forgiven in that work on the cross. It's great news. Great and news. I think it's, it's so simple, sometimes people stumble over it because they have to do something themselves when they can do nothing apart from it. You know, and, and this is one reason why I think God allows suffering, especially for the non-believer, because when you go through suffering, it, it's, like, it's like alarm clocks go off, it's like red flags waving, red lights blinking, doo 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 doo, wake up, wake up out of your spiritual slumber. I think, I think suffering is like a ice cold splash in the face mm -hmm. to the non-believer asking them, what's going to happen to you on the other side of your tombstone? Yeah. What are you going to do about the cause, the claims of Christ? I don't think we as natural people would consider such things were it not for suffering to wake us up out of our spiritual stupor. Mm -hmm.